Hello out there everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing this wonderful release by Criterion of Sex, Lies, and Videotape, a classic 1989 independent film directed by Steven Soderbergh. And it was really one of those movies that kicked off the sort of independent uh, wave of cinema that came uh, after it in the 90s. It, um, it's firstly a terrific character study, basically centering around four individuals all in their late 20s and uh, at different points in their lives, uh, socioeconomically and um, just, you know, in terms of mentally and emotionally as well. Uh, their maturity is very different. But uh, it, of course, you know, got Steven Soderbergh sort of on the map after years of uh, smaller fare and, and doing documentaries and the like. And uh, it's, a, it's a fabulous character study. Andy McDowell uh, here on the cover is, is wonderful as the sort of put upon spouse of Peter Gallagher, who is a successful young attorney. And then, of course, uh, Annie McDowell's sister, uh, she is in the film and apparently um, is involved with a, um, well, I won't spoil it for you, but she's, she's definitely in, in, up to her neck as well in, uh, you know, amoral behavior, I suppose. But um, then you've got James Spader, who is apparently a friend uh, from you know, youth of Peter Gallagher's. Um, it, it, they don't really go into too much detail about their backstory other than to say that I think they were in college together and they were friends, uh, but it, clearly their paths had diverged after college and, and, you know, where you kind of pick up with them in this film is a strong indicator of that. Now, Criterion, of course, as per usual, does a wonderful job with their packaging. There's this wonderful... Um, booklet that comes with the uh, the disc, which has some really interesting essays on the production of the film and the sort of the history of the film. Uh, and then it's also got this interesting slipcase that I've not seen on any other Criterion releases. Um, it's, uh, it does the trick, but it's, it's definitely uh, an unusual uh, packaging for uh, most of the Criterions that I have. I have a standard Amore case. But uh, again, this flick... Um, I think it also illustrates just how incredibly gifted James Spader is. He clearly steals the show. He and Andy McDowell are both terrific in it. Uh, but James Spader, what an, what an actor. He is a person who can play, you know, a sniveling sort of wimp um, in almost a milk toasty fashion like he did in Bad Influence and even True Colors, uh, a little scene film from 1990 starring John Cusack. But then, of course, he can play a very sinister individual like he did in uh, Less Than Zero and, um, and other uh, films that he's done over the years. I'm uh, trying to remember even Supernova, which was a terrible science fiction film, was unusual because in that film he was, you know, buff and uh, a badass. And uh, again, he, he tends to play more cerebral characters uh, and he's got, of course, a great voice. I always felt like they wasted his talents in um, Age of Ultron, which was, uh, in my mind, a pretty weak entry in the um, Avengers uh, filmology. But in any case, I would definitely recommend checking this out. It illustrates why Steven Soderbergh got the work he did after this film and really gets at sort of the, the human condition uh, as it relates to sort of like late 20s, what am I doing with my life? Uh, but not yet um, quite midlife crises, uh, the state of things. It's, it's a, I think it's a wonderful you know, exploration of basically the human condition and what is important in life uh, as a young adult. So with that, I would just uh, say seek it out. And this Criterion release is wonderful. The, the transfer is terrific. And the supplemental features are very interesting as well. Um, and I would expect nothing less from Criterion. I, I would have to say they are my favorite boutique Blu-ray label. Um, they just do a, a commendable job. And you can tell that they are, that it's a company that is made of cinephiles. They are individuals who truly care about film and preserving it. So 
on that note please take care everyone as you can see this slipcase is a bit of a bear getting back on and until the next time